Hello there lords and ladies, I am the mighty Gammon. Today I'm going to show you how to stick your foot up the arse of the battlefront with General Grievous and Count Dooku. If you like this awful shite, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing for more. Grievous' main strength is his damage and claw rush ability, so I try to extrapolate on that by using both claw rush star cards. This combo allows you to be virtually invincible whilst crawling along the ground like a little bitch as well as dealing maximum damage on the way out of the fight. The third star card I use is increased range on his thrust surge ability. I will get into why I use that a bit later. Grievous is excellent at drawing enemy fire away from your teammates because he is such a large target. There is very little chance for stealth when you're controlling a seven foot tall shambling cyborg with tuberculosis who announces every other step by entering a debilitating coughing fit. His unrelenting advance ability allows you to block blaster fire and lightsaber attacks from the front whilst dealing constant damage to enemies you walk into. This ability is very useful when used against bots or players who don't know how to play the game. They will stand there like a deer in headlights waiting to be run over as a sacrifice to Gilgamesh. The only time you should ever use your regular block on Blaster Fire is if you want to meme yourself to death. Within a couple of seconds you will have no stamina which means you also cannot hit the enemy, leaving you running around hastily looking for cover to avoid the blaster of a guy you could have just claw rushed moments earlier. Oh sorry sir, may I have a crumb of stamina? Please just a morsel of stamina for my lightsabers sir. No. You're a dickhead and will perish accordingly. As a Grievous main, I find my main weakness when playing this character are Wookiee Warriors. Their basic fire can penetrate unrelenting advance, and then they have a decent health pull to boot. A Wookiee overcharging its bolt caster can take Grievous out fairly easily if his claw rush is on cooldown, so be careful. This is why furries must be purged. One way to really help the team is to stand around corners spamming voice lines. In fact, just follow teammates around whilst making Grievous cough over and over again. It's pure comedy. What? Your team actually wants you to help them take an objective? I'd rather just... <laughs> Oh yes, the reason I like the extended thrust range star card is so you can do this. You can superman yourself across the map like an angry paper airplane to stab an unsuspecting individual, usually sending them flying as well. Do you need any more reason to play this character? Hey? Well I do. Why are you making me play him? He can't block for shit. It's just like jousting with a jet engine up your ass. I love it. You can use Claw Rush to decimate an entire hallway of enemies whilst taking barely any da- ah! There we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Why do I play this f***ing game? Poo poo looking ass looking boy yee yee haircut wearing dry lips having ass. The Claw Rush is his most powerful ability when combined with his 90% damage reduction star card. This allows you to either run over swaths of enemies or escape fights whilst taking only 10% of normal damage. Whilst most players will find it easy to deal damage to Grievous doing an unrelenting advance on his own, he is difficult to focus on when backed up by his team. Use him as a bulldozer to block and deal damage whilst your teammates steal all the kills from behind you. Feels great helping the team, doesn't it? Oh? You'd rather just hoard kills to yourself whilst letting your teammates die, you say? You'd rather lose the match than have negative kill-death ratio, you say? Welcome to the specialist club. Who needs force push when you have the grievous shank? I sometimes wonder if the developers realise that heroes and villains can actually aim their sabres upwards. You know, so they can hit a grav tank directly above them. I know Grievous was an idiot in Revenge of the Sith, but Jesus Christ. Target acquired. Crack gremlin shish kebab. Activating rotisserie. Cooking gremlin. Get in my belly. I've been looking forward to this. With Dooku, I like to focus on increasing my lightsaber damage and stamina. With these cards, you can turn him into one of the most powerful duelists in the game. With his critical hit card, you can dish out a bowl of f cough to your opponent every 15 seconds with a high damage attack. This is great for opening a fight with a damage advantage or dabbing on an enemy heavy with a single hit from behind and then watching them leave the game to ask their dad to hack your IP address. An ability I didn't like much at first but has now grown on me is expose weakness. This ability can turn an enemy into a limp drip of chicken piss as they're slowed down and made vulnerable to damage from yourself and teammates. The best part is if you kill an enemy yourself the ability instantly recharges so you can keep 
keep pointing your lightsaber at people and laughing as they get clapped. Using his increased stamina star card assists with fighting those psychopaths who main blaster heroes. As long as you dodge their abilities and don't spam your swing, you can deflect all of their shots as they helplessly roll around like daft prats, whilst getting a few hits in until they die in a war of attrition. The extra stamina helps you keep the pressure on without exposing yourself. I've exposed myself one too many times in the past and have been arrested accordingly. I've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this. Oh god, the green goblin is back. Jumping cannot save you, you bloody disfigured garden gnome. Hey guys, so on this episode of Guess Who Hasn't Been Laid in 10 Years, we have this guy right here. Dooku's speed and damage allows him to outplay even the most irritating reinforcements with explosive shots. Even against Wookiees, his duelist ability allows him to dish out extremely fast damage in a short space of time. Just like my mum with a frying pan when I called her Obi-Wan. As a Dooku main, I'm always outsmarting the enemy to- Jesus Christ! Christ, where these guys come from? Ah! Oh, f the gremlin is back. He won't die. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I'll take you all on. Thrice the pride, thrice the fo- Oh, I died. This is what happens when you let me use the villain. I cannot be trusted. The increased duelist damage star card is useful for when you're being bullied by a literal testicle with a taser. One good opening and you can unleash hundreds of damage points in seconds. Count Dooku's decent mobility means you can simply jump away from a spamming Luke rather than fight him. The Luke will become so upset that he will forget about his last remaining brain cell and spam swing until either yourself or a teammate end him. This works for the absolute creatures attempting to hit you whilst jumping to circumvent your block. Just dodge sideways when they jump and then hit them with a lightning stun when they land. One of two things will happen once you pull this off. Either they'll go mental and start swinging wildly because you've exposed their only trick, or they will continue attempting it whilst you whittle their health down to zero. Then they'll send you an angry message where they state they slept with your mother. This of course is false, as they have never slept with anyone. Honestly, with the duelist ability, you can outspam the spamming Luke player. Literally beat him at his own game if you don't have the energy to think of a real strategy. This may be followed by them sending you a message where they say they've slept with you. Combining lightning stun and duelist allows you to get several free hits whilst your opponent is recovering. Use this to flex on an Anakin player who thinks force pulling you off a ledge is a personality trait. Aesthetically, Dooku is top tier. He swishes his awesome curved blade like a dance whilst deflecting enemy shots, stopping only to dispatch an opponent with lightning before returning to making blasters look like pea shooters. He even pirouettes with some of his attacks. Classy. That's it. That's all the info I can be bothered to share today. Actually wait, I have one more thing. I now have a Discord server set up by one of my supporters. The link to the server is down in the description. If you want to help grow our community on YouTube and beyond, you're welcome to join. I will frequent it to chat with you guys and discuss future videos. Until next time, get out of my face.